Hello. Let's find out where today's Bible story takes place. Well, part of the story takes place in the desert. And the desert was a place that was very dry and hot. And just as the name suggests, a wilderness, wild, barren, very little there, very little growing. And the desert was a place at night, very, very cold. And during the day, very, very hot. There would be very little around to eat, very little that would grow. So our story takes place somewhere that was very dry, but it begins, it's only a short story, but it begins somewhere very wet. And here's our river, the River Jordan. Imagine yourself standing by the River Jordan. Imagine the sun shining on the water. Imagine looking on and seeing John baptising Jesus. So let's find our first story stone. Here it is. Our first story stone is a river. A river representing the River Jordan where Jesus was baptised. And as Jesus came up out of the water, I would imagine he would be very wet, dripping with water. And there came the Holy Spirit, like a dove. And a voice saying, this is my son, whom I love very much. Our second stone. And that's the first part of our story that took place by a river. But the second part of our story took place in the desert, the desert where it was cold at night and hot during the day. Imagine a very wild, lonely place and hot, very, very hot with the sun beating down. And the Spirit sent Jesus into the wilderness. And there Jesus was tested. Here's our third stone, a picture of the wilderness with a hot sun, rocks and trees that are dried up because they don't get enough water in the wilderness. And there Jesus was tempted. Jesus was there to prepare himself for what God had sent him to do. And as Jesus was tempted, God set angels to comfort him. So our story began very wet and it ended very dry. It began with a river and Jesus being baptised. And then the Holy Spirit coming and God speaking and saying, this is my son whom I love. And then sending Jesus into the wilderness where he was tempted and where angels came to take care of him. This very short story in Mark's gospel tells us about Jesus's preparation, his baptism the immersion into the water and the Holy Spirit coming upon him. And the second part, the dry part, his preparation in the wilderness, his time when he was tested. And all of those things led to him going forward to do what he had been sent to do, which was spreading the good news. So remembering the story, you can remember, it was wet and it was dry and it was a story of preparation and that's where we are now in Lent in a time of preparation in a time of reflection some of you may have given things up 
Some of you may have taken on extra things to do, but Lent's a time when we can prepare ourselves to be disciples following Jesus, just like Jesus prepared himself to share the good news.